Hey guys, I'm Troy, aka Northern Scrogger. I'm coming in here today to talk to you about topping. Topping is a technique that I, I use and sometimes I don't use. I use topping for one reason and that is to make my main stem not as thick as the other stems on my plant. But there's other reasons that people use topping as well. Some people top their plants to create a short, a shorter canopy in their grow space. If they have a very tall plant, like a sativa dominant plant, they may top that plant a few times. That's going to create a shorter, a shorter plant, more bushier plant. When you top your plant, that does not create two new bud sites. All that does is it exposes the lower bud sites. So today I'm going to top a plant for you. I'm going to show you where I top my plants and I'm going to tell you that where you can top your plants. So I have a plant set right here, right now. This is one of the blue dreams from Seedsman. Okay, so we are gonna top. I could top right here if I want to on this section of this plant, but I'm gonna aim right for this right in here. I'll tell you right now that this is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna cut on the ninth node of this plant. A lot of people like to top on say the fifth node because what why they say that on their fifth node top on your fifth node people say that a lot that is because you want your roots to build up a root base inside those pots before you top it because you want to top a healthy a healthy plant you don't want to top a plant that is still establishing a root base so these plants are well well established a root base now this is a thriving plant so what i'm going to do when i top this plant is I'm going to eliminate this main stem right here because this main stem, as you can tell, it's always going to be thicker than the side stems that come off the main stem. So this main stem right here, when I top it right there, it's going to expose these two nodes to the light. So let's top it right now. What I'm going to do is I'm not topping these. I'm going to make sure I leave these two little bud sites, you can call them, but they're not bud sites because I'm in beds, but you can call these bud sites because a lot of people think of it like that or nodes. Okay, so you, I'm gonna leave these two for sure. And I'm gonna sneak in right beside those two and I'm gonna snip off that top just like that. Okay, so what now that's happening is those two now nodes are now exposed to the light at an even level. They are gonna grow evenly now. So those two tops are not created, they were already there. I could have achieved the same process without taking off the top. All I would have had it done is say this top is still on here. I could have just bent my plant more on a horizontal basis like this. And these tops would now rise up thinking that they are the top. I could have slid my tie in right there, but I topped because I don't want these main stem to be so thick because by the time I'm in like, say a month and a half of veg, my, this stem is going to be hard for me to tuck under my screens. What's gonna happen now is all of these lower bud sites now are gonna thrive more as the top heals. Okay, so I'm gonna start seeing these grow quicker. These ones are gonna start growing a little bit quicker. Everything below is gonna fill in a little bit quicker now as the top heals and these two fill in. That's, that's my scenario on topping and that's how I top my plants. You can top a plant anywhere. I could top my plants down on this node. Say I could top right there if I wanted to but I don't, I don't want to top my plants. I top one time if I top. So topping for me is a one-time process because I create all of my colas by growing my plant on a horizontal platform. So there, that's done for topping. This is an extremely aggressive blue dream from Seedsman. This thing is not even a month old yet. This is day 25 from seed. So this is for me taking it out of the pack, putting it in my paper towel and germinating it and she's a big a big girl so yeah i want to thank everyone for tuning in today and checking out this video on how to top if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and i will definitely answer for you until the next time keep on tucking